All right. All right, so here we are live at Tree Hoppers, and this is... Brad, I'll come the general manager of the property. Perfect. Okay, Brad is going to speak to us about phase two of the tree, hopper, tree hoppers and what they're developing over here on the property in Dade City. So right now, phase two, what we've got, if uh, in the parking lot area, we're going to be putting up a whole pro shop. So uh, we've got some design boards up there that uh, show exactly what the pro shop's going to look like. Uh, so you want to take a look at that for free. Uh, but the shop's going to get built and it'll have water stations, everything like that, bathrooms, flushing restrooms like that. Right now we've got the container and we've got the Port of Johns, but we're going to have a really nice facility. That's phase two, a lot of landscaping going on. Awesome. That'll be phase two. It's fantastic. It is really an amazing facility. Um, and then we have Everyday Rambling. This is Tara Hi. and she's going to speak to some of the things that we did today. Well, today we went on the sunflower course and... Uh, because we're pretty flowers. <laughs> We're new. <laughs> and uh, it was, there were some challenging parts. The zip lining is amazing, by the way. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, the hoops over there, I don't like those at all. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them in the can, shot. Can we get the hoops? I don't, I don't know. If I don't can like see those. those at all. Um, I really think that this was an awesome workout. Great mm -hmm. upper body workout. Yeah, for um, sure. But I really I, I think that this would be a lot of fun for kids, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, birthday parties. I could totally even see a wedding out here. I'm thinking corporate events too. Yeah. Like if you had, um, let me flip this around so okay. that you can see because I'm here too. Hi, Yay. I'm Denise of Run DMT. And um, yeah, we had, I, um, you can see the sweat is just yeah. dripping. So I was thinking next time if I, when I come out, I'm going to wear sweatbands and do like, you know, so that I have, oh, oh yeah. Sleeves. I need, you need sleeves because I kept getting the, um, got I got a massive, Right here. When I came off the ladder, I was locked in it's as set. properly as I as I was safety first, folks. But I still slipped, and so oh, sleeves oh, are very important. Are very like important. just just because girls like to wear the tank tops, but you got to cover your shoulder because you're bumping into the tree right. when you're unhooking, and you're just you're not. There's a lot to think about. Um, at the beginning, we showed you um, the practice course, and we. We, you know, you, shot, you saw us clipping in and locking in, and it was a lot to remember. But the good thing is, is as you go through each step, because you're doing it over and very over, repetitious. you get, it is yes. very repetitious, and you, um, it gets easier. It so and you're just like, it seems second nature. And right. the zip lining is amazing. We have a person who just went across the zip line. It's, it awesome. how long are the zip lines? The zip lines range from anywhere from, uh, we've got short ones you. that are, it could be 30 to 40 feet, all the way up to a couple hundred feet. Yeah, oh they goodness. are amazing. And they you are. go, you get you you get some wicked speed going on yes. those zip lines. It's amazing. We've got Macaroni Kid represented mm -hmm. here. Tell us where your site, tell us the, the Oh, website. Macaroni Kid Brandon. It's mm -hmm. uh, brandon.macaronikid.com. Okay. And, and are um, you on Twitter? Or are you yes, I'm um, at Matt Kid Brandon. Okay, great. And what did you think of it? Um, it was awesome. It was awesome. I thought I was like, I was apprehensive, and I was, you know, you get there and you freeze for a second, but once mm -hmm. you do it, I, it, it's funny, the zip line particularly, I remember, you get on it, and you just, you don't want to let go, and then you're like, oh, and you're like, this is awesome! Like, why didn't I want to let go? <laughs> I loved, I loved that there was cushions at the end of the zip line, because I had <laughs> some wicked tree. speed going, I and then I was like, hit. boom! I had like this, it was like... You know, brace with the shoulders, you know. Exactly. It was amazing. I, mean, I had a really great time. So yeah. I have a 14-year-old, um, a 5-year-old, a and um, a 10-year-old. Uh, did I say that? 14, 10, and 5. Yes. And so um, two girls, one boy. The boy is the youngest. And I don't think my 5-year-old would do it. My 5-year-old would be too fearful. My 10-year-old would be too fearful. But that's my kids. Some kids are much braver. Um, there are a lot of people on the course. Oh. This, gentle this gentleman here... Um, was yelling at me because I kept taking selfies. Um, oh, he, uh, he kept yelling at me. Tell us your name. Um, pardon me, but I never raised my voice No, once. he was very nice. He was just like, hey, you. I was you. politely saying your safety is more important than and your selfies. selfies. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, but Ken, yeah, there, my name is Ken. Thank you, Ken. So, yeah, there are a lot of people on the course to help you. So, if you, um, they were teaching us in the very beginning, if you get stuck, you yell staff. And they'll yeah. help you, and they're just, they're right there. At the beginning, one of the mistakes I did was I hooked outside. You should hook this way, and I hooked, hooked the other way. And so when I started the, um, there was a net course, I started it, and I was, I'm too short, so I was like, I, I can't reach this to move it. So I had to get back on the platform, unlock it, redo it, and then get going again. But the staff was right there to help me with that. Yes, they were. So, um, so we said the zip line was amazing. The zip line's um, amazing. I, I actually I, liked the really challenging stuff, like the hoops. I, oh, there's the net. Can you see the net behind me? Oh, 
See it? I got, I hooked in wrong and it, it felt like a birth canal when you walked through it. It was very bizarre. It was like, you were like swallowed in it. It was. Um, anyway, yeah, I think I need to be rebirthed or something. I don't know. So, um, Brad, as far as having groups out here, what would be the best thing to have a private group out here, whether it be a birthday party or Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts? We will accommodate any group. Uh, okay. We do ask a group size of 10 people or more. Now, with the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, uh, groups, we're going to do something very special. Okay. We made a uh, scout camp out the back. Oh, very we made cool. It's exclusively for Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. I myself was in the Scouts, okay. and we definitely want to give back to that community. So we've made a campground for them. So if they want to come out for a weekend and they want to go camp and then they climb, oh. we made that for them. That's so, awesome. awesome. Okay, I want to get your feedback. What did you think? Awesome. This is our new friend. What was your name? Tony. Tony, and where are you from? Trinity. Trinity, and wh which organization do you represent? Uh, my wife's part of Macaroni Camp. Oh, oh, fantastic. Okay, so tell us, what did you love? The whole thing, it's amazing. It is, it's Beautiful. fantastic. It's, it's a fun. great workout. It's great exercise. It is. You could uh, feel your heart rate. We were sweating mad. I was joking that I should have stretched before I started because I could really feel it in my quads. I, know, I could feel it in my shoulders. That's yeah. Um, it looks a lot easier than what it is. I mean, I thought I could do the whole course today, and I've done two, and I'm keeping it out. Yeah, it was. It's it's a good, definitely a good work workout. You yes. use all your all your muscle groups to get going on a, on to climb and pull yourself through. And you really did you find that you really had to think about like where you're going to place your foot. Like you couldn't just go across. You really had to That's think about like the, uh, there's a different technique for each part of the course. The logs, the individual yeah. stepping ones are definitely. You have to concentrate a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, the zip line is the easiest part, actually. Yeah. Um, in the last course I took, you had to do a plunge, which was probably the scariest part. It was easy. comes down very slow, but yeah. just the idea of jumping off something... Yeah, I'm glad we didn't do that No. Yeah, we, we did the sunflower route, I guess, because we're so, you know... We're petite flowers. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's it. That's us for, that's all of us at Tree Hoppers. Everybody get in here and let's give a little periscope wave. And thank you so much for joining us at Tree Hoppers out in Dade City. They open on September 19th, officially open on September 19th. You go on, on their Facebook page, check them out and see all the dates and special events they have coming up. They have Screamageddon. Yep, we have Screamageddon coming up in the end of this month. Oh, and that's going to be our Halloween event that we have that's on the other side of the property. So we'll have a big event for that. That'll be massive, 24 nights a year, five haunted houses. When you buy your ticket, go through as many times as you oh want. It'll be a good time. So. Yeah, I would like to say I'd be there, but I'm too much of a scaredy <laughs> cat, and I won't be there. But no. you thrill seekers, you go. That's right, and we, I'm giving away tickets. I'm going to have four tickets to Scream Again, and I have four tickets here for Tree Hoppers that I'm going to be putting up on my blog. Yes, so. a lot of our bloggers will be giving away tickets, yes. and Tampa Bay bloggers will have four tickets to give away as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for joining us. Um, Check out Tree Hoppers on Facebook. Are you guys on Twitter? Yep, Tree, ho at, yep, tree, tree Hoppers. At Tree Hoppers. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Check them out. Bye. Bye.